Hi Leo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Leo, this is going to be a reading on your person. Yes, it is. And this is going to be behind the scenes on your person. All right, so we're getting really nosy about them, Leo, <clears throat> because you're such a cool sign. Yeah, we have to kind of help out here. Yeah, we do. And we have from the success cards, the interdependence card, uh, Leo. And interdependence is all about, you know, this is about when two people kind of uh, rely on each other. Yeah, it is. It's not, independence is, you know, you're like a lone wolf kind of, all by yourself, right? Doing well, usually independent kind of. And, of course, dependence is when, you know, kind of when you wait for somebody to bring you everything you need, things like that. You depend on other people. But the interdependence card is the best way to go. And this is what Stephen Covey wrote about in The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Yeah, he wrote about that. I feel like when I read it, I was maybe a little bit too young to really take it all in. But uh, that job, that book, you know, that made him like famous, right? He talks about interdependence when you guys uh, work together, but <clears throat> kind of have your own kind of thing going on. Maybe for some people, they have their own, they have a business they have together. But interdependence means that you know, it's kind of really uh, the strength of each person, which is kind of the strength of two, and then the strength of working together, right? So now this is the third kind of entity uh, or a third kind of a foundation of strength, right? Mm -hmm. And this is better than being independent, and it is better than being dependent, right? Yeah, this is why uh, unions where people really work together they build more wealth. Yeah, they do. And, you know, people who are usually in a long-term union uh, over their lifespan live longer, too. They do, guys. So for those of you who are single, you know, keep working out and eating a lot of vegetables. All right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so let's see. Let's get into the reading right now for uh, for Leo's person. Yeah, the extended reading is how they feel, right, what they really want and uh, what's challenging them, what they're hiding, things like that. So let's get into the reading here, and uh, yeah, they're showing this card, Interdependence, where these animals, they kind of all, you know, in ecology, they all kind of lean and depend on each other. This is why we can't destroy animals, because we don't know sometimes how they help other parts, or even how they help humans uh, with, uh, like, herbs, and even animals have, like, things that can help uh, uh, cure people. Yeah, we can't destroy, right? No, we can't. We can't let the cows go, okay? Don't believe what they're saying, uh, but we're going to get into... We're not going to talk about that today. So let's see what we have. Yeah, really, yeah. So let's see. You can't believe everything you read. you got to really look hard. Yeah, you do, guys. Let's see what we have for uh, Leo's person. We're going to keep this all about tarot, right? Although I really love the earth, yeah, and I feel like that's... Yeah, okay, so let's get into it, you guys. The purse card. Pay attention to your finances. So this is your person's, you know, uh, kind of advice, right? And then we have the harp, great happiness. Your person's happy over here. OMG. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's look at their, uh, let's look at their cards. Okay, I kind of want to see this, right? Because okay. <laughs> so let's see what else we have for Leo's person. Let's get one more card for Leo's person. And we have patience. Okay, so they are being patient about something. And let's see. So let's get into the reading right now, and, uh, mm -hmm. okay, perfect. Let's look at the heart of the matter for Leo's person, the heart of the matter. <coughs> the Nine of Wands and the Six of Swords is their kind of influencing energy, and what they have down here, let's see what they have, energies that are coming into play for them is going to be the Hangman. Could be Pisces here, that it could be, right? Uh, your person could be Piscean, Leo. And the highest expectations for them is, is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, there could also be a Sagittarian here. But this Wheel of Fortune could be saying, you know, uh, maybe they have a fortune, you know, the highest expectations could be a, a, a fortune, possibly. They do have something about their finances. Pay attention. Energies that are leaving them, the Four of Swords. Let's see energies that are coming soon for your person, please. It is the Six of Cups. There's somebody here from the past. There is. And the Hangman is going to be energies coming into play for them, like coming now, like pronto, right? Coming very soon, very, very soon. 
And the Four of Wands is how they are affecting other people. I mean, how other people affect them. How they are affecting other people is the Page of Swords. They could be making you think a lot here. Mm -hmm. They could be making you think uh, really a lot here, the Page of Swords. Or spy on them, possibly. This could be somebody else. They could be making somebody else do the spying, maybe. Or this, like, major reflection or wanting to know more. I feel like that's it. They could be making somebody from their past, Leo, really want to know more about them, possibly. Their hopes and fears is the Six of Wands reversed. I feel like they're hoping to overcome something. And this interdependence card, you know, when we look at the reading now, right, we, you know, we start out, we just kind of talk about these oracle cards, but they really don't mean that much, or they're really not, you know, they, sometimes they are not, like, so resonating until we have, like, the tarot here, right? They are for, uh, like, elaboration, like, uh, to elaborate on something or to add to it, right? That's what the oracle cards are. And uh, so what I'm saying here is that once we look at the tarot, we can kind of really know uh, what these cards mean. You can be uh, maybe in a marriage with your person or, you know, a relationship where you guys count on each other, like in a business or regarding the money. But, right, interdependence. But this card here is telling them to pay attention to their finances. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the reading to find out. There's some type of patience going on here. There is. So let's see here. Mm -hmm. The Nine of Wands showing up and the Four of Cups for them. Your person is not. They don't look very happy. No, they don't. It says great happiness over here. Maybe that's coming. right? Maybe they need to have patience for great happiness. See what I mean about how these cards kind of tie in? Yeah, yeah. That's why it always cracks me up when some readers, they pull two cards and they, you know, they kind of talk about the whole reading. I'm like, what? Or they, you know, they peg the whole reading, but, you know, maybe if they are, you know, the wizard of, you know, the wizardress of, or, you know, psychic super, then fine, right? Yeah. More power to them. They could do that. So let's see here. But for me, personally, I want to look at the reading. <laughs> right? Yeah, the rest of it. Yeah. Okay, guys, you could be saying, uh, you could be saying you're being mean, right? Okay, so let's see what we have. And uh, let's look at the heart of the matter here where they have the Nine of Wands, Leo, and the Four of Cups. Your person is like, I feel like they are worried about what's going to happen next. I feel like they are thinking about, am I going to be happy here? Yeah, I feel like they are. Mm -hmm. They could be worried about rejection, too, and thinking that's coming their way, possibly. The King of Wands, that's you, Leo. I feel like they think you're going to reject them. Their influential energy, Leo, is going to be the Six of Swords showing up with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like they think you're going to leave, like row away. You could be leaving in a yacht, okay, with this, uh, I don't know, maybe, with this pay attention to your finances, maybe. I mean, that could be, that could be, you know, this is your person's card, but it could be about the story with you, right? But that could be could go either way. Somebody's got a bunch of money and they need to watch it. Or, you know, maybe they don't have enough. So they're counting their coins. It can go either way, right? Yeah, okay. So, you know, your person here, though, is not happy. I feel like they, they think you're going to row away to go be with somebody else. That's kind of how this looks here. They could be thinking you're leaving and taking money with them. Mm -hmm. Or you're going to go work on something with somebody else, possibly. And, like, make money. And the Ace of Cups, wow, they think you're leaving to have a new beginning in love with somebody. This is how I'm seeing this. The Hangman is energies that are coming coming into play with the Moon card. This could be fears and doubts, and this could simply be Pisces, the Five of Wands. This is coming into play for them. Major challenges here. Mm -hmm. Maybe about a water sign. Mm -hmm. Get another card. It could be third-party energy coming to play with them. It could be. And they have doubts and fears. Possibly. Yes, they do. Nine of Swords. OMG. They have doubts. Big time. Right? Mm-hmm. Fear. Anxiety. Worry. 
Their highest expectations. Your person's worried about change. Yeah, they are. They're worried that things are going to change. And they, I feel like they are also worried that you're leaving. And they are also, like, focused on their finances. Like, they could be worried here. You're going to take the, you know, take the, the dowry. <laughs> you're going to, like, walk away with the fortune, possibly. Mm-hmm. I feel like you guys were depending on each other in the past. And now, OMG, I feel like that's the case with this interdependence card. And they could be worried that you're going to go, for some of you guys, you're going to go work on a business with somebody else. Like Leo's leaving me, I feel like, and at the same time, they're going to take the family business to go work on it with, you know, Rochelle. Okay, that's just a random name, you guys, all right? Don't make any comments. And What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> they think you're going to go work on it with, you know, uh, Maria, okay? Right? Mm -hmm. Or Keisha, anybody, okay? Okay, let's get back to the reading. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Swords. So, you know, with this card, with these cards here, showing up, you know, in their highest expectations. I mean, they're in the sword. They're in the, the fence of swords. I mean, yeah, the fence of swords. That's right, not the sword of fence. Fence of swords here with, uh, a mag not a magnifying, sorry guys, with a blindfold on. And they're all tied up. And for some reason they think they, this is their highest expectations, that they can't escape this. Like, this is what I got to deal with here. And, uh, God, I feel like cornered, feel like cornered by this. Like, painted into a corner. I don't know what to do. The Empress. Their highest expectations. They think they could be thinking you're leaving with a Sagittarian. Or you're leaving the Empress, too. You know, this could be somebody who's like a businesswoman. Wow. For some of you guys, it could be that. The Empress can be a businesswoman, right? In Spanish, they call empresario or empresa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they probably call the businesswoman empresaria, right? This is somebody who has an enterprise. And we know the empress, that's what that means, right? The empress or mm, the enterprise, empresario kind of, right? Empresa. But this, what this means is that your person might be like thinking that you're going to go like run a business with somebody else. But this person is also somebody that you are, like, into passionately. And the Empress makes her dreams come true, kind of like a businesswoman. Yeah, it's, it's exactly right. She's, like, abundant in love and sexuality and passion and business. Yeah, she's the ultimate, you know, kind of woman or anybody somebody wants to be here. Yeah, I mean, she's shown as a woman, guys. I'm not, I don't read that. You know, it could be a man. It can be. It can be a man because these are general readings. But back in the day, they didn't have this problem about, you know, they knew who they were, a man or a woman, right? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I mean, everybody can choose what they want, but I just hate how they try to confuse the two. Yes, they do. Yeah, and they're like, in their, yeah, we're not going to get into it. Mm -hmm. Just trying to confuse people, that's it. Okay? Mm hmm you choose who you guys, yeah, you guys want to be, you know, if you're a woman, you want to be a man, that's fine. But what I'm trying to say is that they are trying to confuse the people with this whole situation. So, so let's get back to the reading and not talk about it. I just put that in there because I don't want people to go, what? You don't, don't talk about me or something like that. All right. Yeah. So let's see here. This is their highest expectation. Let's get another card. Why is the Empress there? And we have the Seven of Wands reversed. Yeah, Leo, they think you're going to give up on them to go be with an Empress. Mm -hmm. who could be Sagittarian and the energies that are leaving them the Four of Swords and the Knight of Swords I feel like they figured out that you want to kind of cut them out for somebody else or you want to go hurry up and take and take some action and go heal the situation with somebody else right? The Six of Cups is showing up as uh, with the Ten of Cups here and the Six of Cups showing up right here is you know kind of showing up as energies that are coming soon to them. Mm-hmm. The Knight of Cups. 
So this is energy that are coming soon to them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. With your person in all with all these challenging cards, nine of swords, seven of wands, reverse, five of wands. For me, this is uh, you returning to somebody from your past, Leo. Why is that Knight of Cups there? The Magician, the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. I feel like I don't feel like that's that's them doing this. I feel like it's you. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups. Maybe they're Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Because right away uh, was the Hangman and the Moon. Yeah. So the, how they are being, uh, how they uh, other people are affecting them, you guys is the Four of Wands. Mm-hmm. And let's see what else we have. And the High Priestess. Right? And see, this is more Piscean energy, right? It could be Scorpio. But I feel like this is how other people are affecting them. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're making them walk away. Mm-hmm. You're making them leave, Leo. Or a third party's making them leave. Yeah, this reading's really clear now here. Mm-hmm. They're yeah, they're not feeling good about you like you walking away or this ending. No, they're not. And there was some type of interdependence going on. Maybe you had a great job and they did too, and you guys were, you know, something like that. And that is, I feel like this is what they are worried about. That's going away. Pay attention to your finances. Your person might have great happiness coming. Maybe they have to be patient about it. They have this card of patience. But for now, like I feel like they're in the tower on some level, right? And how you may be affecting them, Leo. Uh, I'm sorry. How they are affecting uh, other people. Page of Swords, Page of Cups. Five of Swords. They could be making this third party kind of wonder about whether or not, you know, you're going to sabotage the union with them. Or they could be making somebody else kind of feel like maybe they're going to end up defeated. Like, there could be somebody waiting from the past over here, right? And that person might feel insecure about the situation. Your person is making this, is making uh, either you or somebody else feel like, uh, I wonder if this is going to end up in defeat. I feel like that's that. That's that energy. I wonder if this is going to end up in defeat. Right? Yeah, I feel like that's exactly the case. And the Six of Wands reversed is their hopes and fears. It's uh, with the Star card and the Hermit. I feel like they're just hoping to overcome it. I feel like your person's not really looking for victory here. No, I don't. Yeah, they, uh, usually I'll, you, it's interesting how these readings are. A lot of, you know, a lot of the times... Um, a lot of times, you know, people want to repair the situation or they want to hold on to their person. In this reading, your person, like, I feel like they're just kind of rolling with the punches and trying to deal with it, right? I feel like they're just kind of thinking about their own feet, like, how to overcome it. And I feel like they are kind of in the tower over this, but they're like, it's about, let me overcome this. So we're going to see all about your person, Leo, in the extended. And we're going to see their outcome and also how they feel about you, what's challenging them. And what they're hiding or what's unknown, their desires and their future, and they're all super affordable, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much, you guys. And, uh, yeah, um, you know, the little comment earlier, you know, everybody can be who they want. I just uh, feel like, you know, just feel like they try to manipulate shit. Okay, thank you so much, you guys.